Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton. I'm here again and we're going to do a number talk today. Remember, our number talks happen all in your head, but you can think about the things that we've done in the classroom to help you. All right, so here is your very first question. Here is 10 minus four. So take a moment to think. You can even do your quiet heart signal if you'd like. 10 minus four. All right, you can hit pause if you still need a little bit more time to solve. But if you're ready, I want to hear your answer on the count of three. Okay, ready? One, two, three, tell me. Did I hear a six out there? I think I did. So maybe some of you guys thought about your fingers. I know that's what I do. I love thinking about my fingers. So I have 10 fingers. And I know if I take four fingers away, that I have woo, a five and a one more left. So maybe you thought about your fingers. So let me draw that up there. And that makes 10 fingers. And maybe we took off four. One, two, three, four. And you had six fingers left. Hmm. I'm going to take another guess since you're not here. I'm going to guess that some of you thought about these. Do you guys remember these from class? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's ten cubes. And my guess is maybe some of you have figured out friends of ten. And you know that six and four make ten. So maybe you just knew that because six plus four makes ten that the answer had to be six. I don't know. I would love to hear in the comments if I got one of your strategies. So tell me in the comments if you did this with your fingers or on a number line or maybe even with these in your mind. Okay, here's the next part. Are you ready? I've got one more for you. Nine minus four. Think about nine minus four. Okay, on the count of three, so you can tell me your answer. Ready? One, two, three, tell me. Did you say five? I think I heard five. Okay. Who's gonna prove it? Let's see here. I wish I had some kids right in front of me that I could call them, but since you're not here, I'm gonna guess. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that somebody used their fingers. So maybe instead of 10 fingers, that's 10 fingers, right? Ooh, yeah, 10 fingers. Maybe you're like, ooh, I could just start with nine. So I put my thumb down over here, see? Ooh. So I start with nine and maybe I take off four. So. One, two, three, four. Oh, perfect. I just have to take off four fingers. And five are left. So maybe you did it that way. Let me draw that out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't start with ten fingers. Silly me, I drew ten fingers again. My brain is just thinking all intense. So I don't have that fifth finger. So now I have, let's let's double check. We, let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I have nine fingers and I take off four. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five fingers were left. Mm -hmm. I wonder if some of you did this. I knew 10 minus four was six. So I knew nine minus four would be five. Did anyone see that? Maybe you knew nine was just one less than 10. So one less. So the answer has to be one less. I wonder if any of you did that. Maybe you did. Tell me in the comments, did I get one of your strategies? Okay. 
here we are going to try out our story today. And our story is about little fish and watch out, sharks. Okay, so let's read our story together. Will you read it with me? Little fish. There were, hmm, little fish swimming in the ocean. Then a shark came and ate hmm little fish. Okay, so so far we know there were some little fish swimming in the ocean and then the shark came and he ate some of those little fish. Oh no, but it's a cycle of life. How many little fish are still swimming in the ocean? All right. Let's read this story back again, but I'm going to put in a number set. So I'm going to show you your just right number sets that you can choose from, and then let's choose one to put in to solve. All right, so maybe you'll choose eight and three, or maybe you'll choose 12 and four, or maybe you'll choose 19 and 11. Okay, so let's pretend I choose this number set. 12 and four. I'm gonna reread that story to myself because it's so important that we picture the story in our minds. Remember, we make a picture in our heads? Okay, so there were 12 little fish swimming in the ocean. Okay, can you all imagine 12 little fish? Close your eyes. See, count them up. It's a 10 and two more, 12 little fish. Then a shark came and ate four little fish. Woo. How many little fish are still swimming in the ocean? Okay, so we know for sure we started with 12 little fish and that the shark ate four little fish. We're trying to find out how many little fish are still left in the ocean. Everybody, it's your turn to solve this story problem. So choose the number set that's just right for you and check in with your, your teacher and see how she wants you to turn in this work to her. I hope you all have a great day. See you soon. Bye.